When the Navy wanted a disaster, they organised it in an impeccable manner. But the one thing they'd overlooked was that the BBC could come and cock it up completely. Do you know what happened? Our little helicopter bringing me here, big helicopter actually, blew the whole place about as if it had been a tornado in the West Indies or Wales, wherever they have tornadoes these days. And actually, although I was going to cook you a brilliant dish, I spent all morning on my hands and knees, you can see the mud on my trousers, picking up the bits and pieces. Anyway, enough apologies, enough excuses. I'm still going to outcook this lot, whatever happens, even though they've tried to sabotage it. Richard, quick spin around the ingredients. Naturally, because we're in Cornwall, at HMS, we're going to do a Portuguese dish. Portuguese man of war, it's called. I think that's a battleship or a boat, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's some pork, there's some onions, garlic, bacon, parsley, tomatoes, mussels, cockles, scallops, olive oil, prawns, and because the helicopter wrecked it, I've had to borrow tomato sauce from the field kitchen here. I did make my own, honestly, but they blew it away. Right, enough of all of that. A quick swig of what, you know, made uh, the Navy famous. Till the rat bags took it away from them. And over with me into the frying pan. And as you can see, the combined resources the BBC and Navy have built me the most extravagant and beautiful kitchen. Onions in. Stir them around just for a moment. Then we put our pork in. Like that. And that has to sweat down for a few moments with my bacon, which is there. Throw the dish away. Don't do the of what I'm doing. Actually, this is quite funny. Cooking in a square pot for the Navy. It's Floyd versus the Navy. But in fact, Richard, they've been so kind to us, I don't care if I come second. I mean, there's a bunch of generals. No, they're not. What are they called? Admirals standing over there. And they're going to get to eat all of this shortly. <laughs> and that actually is the end of phase one. Now, Navy pilots, by definition, are a retiring, shy and sensitive breed, and they insisted that I wave goodbye so they could get back to their flower pressing and crochet. Bye-bye, Crispin! Bye-bye, Your Royal Highness! But now, the other ranks have to finish off their gastronomic exam piece for the admirals to judge, providing the Brilkin boys keep their distance and don't blow the kitchen to bits again. The real problem here is... We are in a disaster area. This is a busy kitchen. It's only made of mud and clay and wattles made on the Isle of Innisfree and all that nonsense. You know what I mean? What I want you to do now, and pay attention, OK? Nautical manual number 19, page 27, Portuguese dish, Cataplana, phase two. Go from now. Right. Pass me the bits and pieces. In we go with the mussels. Thank you very much. In we go with the prawns. Thank you very much indeed. In we go with the scallops. Thank you very much indeed. In we go with the cockles. Thank you very much. In with the Royal Navy's own tomato sauce. Thank you very much. A bit of pureed basilic like that. Take these away, thank you. Bring in my parsley, would you? Thank you, put that in. There we go. And then a bit of chilli powder to give it a little bit of spice and flavouring. A little bit of paprika to make it absolutely brilliant, which didn't come out. Never does, does it, when you're trying to do things properly? And then we stir that round, put the lid on, like that. In five minutes, where's my rum? In five minutes, we'll delight the generals, the admirals, with the finest foods of the Northern Hemisphere, that is to say, Portugal, and HMS Rally. Good luck to us all.